Hey, uh, it's Bizer. How you going? And uh, welcome to one of my videos. Um, I've jumped on today and this morning. You know, something that bugged me was when I jumped on and wanted to have a look at a couple streamers on Twitch. That watching them on 1080 or 720p source, uh, it just Twitch wouldn't allow me to do it. Now I get 90 down and 36 up. Uh, megabytes per second, um, megabits, uh, one or the other. I should really know the difference. But it, it, look, listen, it's it's good speed. It's MBN speed in Australia. I don't understand why this keeps happening. Like this, this is so annoying. This is so so annoying. Look, this I've got I've got one of my mates on stream right now that I'm watching, I'm watching a, a bit of Rig, Rig Bro. And this is this is on source now. It, yes, he's he's got um he's got quality today where I can I can go down and have a look at this and and that's fine, no worries. But on other days where Twitch is a bitch and trust me, Twitch will do this to many streamers out there where they will only allow you to have one server and look, it's doing it again to people out there that are having these problems. We can't watch Rig. Or we can't watch anyone else. Uh, and I, this morning, there was a couple of people that I wanted to watch, and they they had 1080p that they were streaming at at Source, and I couldn't watch them. And I was sitting here racking my brain, how do I get around this? So I, I decided to search, and I found something. Uh, I found something, and it's and it's it's called Stream Linked Twitch uh, GUI. Um, it's a something that's uh, up on GitHub, I believe it's GitHub, um, and. It's it's two things. It's Streamlink and Streamlink Twitch uh, GUI that you need to you need to use and you need to go. So what I'm going to do is um, and also you need you need a, a media player to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this quickly and show you guys how I set my site up. And we're going to use RigBro as an example. Here is is the interference interface of what I'm using as as Chrome. On my side, and how it's lagging on 720, 720 60 source, right? As soon as I install this, as soon as I install these and download VLC, which is which is what I'm going to play through my through my music player. We all know what we want to do, so. Um, I can show you guys. Uh, we, we, I, don't, I don't need to need to go there. Obviously, I know what I want. So, yeah. Um, I, obviously, clicking for all the links. Uh, I want. I wanted to achieve the stream link Twitch for Windows 64 installer XE. That's what I'm. I'm, lo I'm looking for for the download and a stream link 0.11 XE, which is the latest. So, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna open that. And I'm going to open that one as well. So I'm going to open those two. So these two, I'm installing. So Streamlink you get, is valuable to have. You need to install that, um, and uh, just install where it's recommended, which will be in the C drive. So in, in the in your 86 C drive, and just let that install. Do, and do the same for your Twitch Twitch Guru, because these these practically link up each other, and the the um, the Streamlink Twitch. A GUI needs the stream link set up to, to be able to counter each other. So that's the way they need to go. And obviously I need, I've already downloaded that today. So we'll just download this anyway. Um, and install that. So finish that, launch it, finish that, launch it. Okay. So now now we've got this uh, thing called obviously this stuff comes up so I'm not sure why it's struggling to load at the moment so rig bro is continuing to to lag in and out in and out on there so we're just gonna minimize that for a second and we got we got this feature browser that comes up okay so we've got to go to our settings and in um, in streaming 
we 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 gotta hit obviously have that stream length but uh probably what you would have on there is probably standard input you need to hit httpp and uh type in four and three now this is settings that i had in here prior this this would usually be one and and one because i've already installed this earlier today this is what's been left in here i had to so i've just uninstalled before but the settings are still here so obviously these are my prior settings um that have been been left in here um obviously you need to log your sign your account in so off your account in so you know obviously sign in your account off your account um go to your settings click through and you know make sure you you, you enable advanced settings and features that's one thing you need to tick uh that's one thing you should do um uh, just go through and have a look and just make sure you're happy with everything with with uh with the way you want to go everything but yeah stream link uh is 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 what you want to have for that and HTT. and so what what this one it says lowering hls live edge this is lowering the value will reduce the stream latency but also uh cause buffering depending on the player condition so i think that's what's that saying there is four uh that's four seconds buffering uh, from what I have read today um, from from where the channel is sending all the information to when you're receiving it there's four seconds in, in, in delay so um, from any so, so you know how I'm getting buffer every single time with with rig I'm watching I'm gonna get a four second delay but I'm not gonna get a buffer so I'll show you what I mean in a minute that's what that does. this is this is where you can play with it if you're still getting buffer issues you can up that so um, if, you, if you have any issues, you click on that and that will give you more information on the details. Click through it and then you make sure you have VLC player, um, VLC player for, for, you know, your players or you can go through whatever else you want to have for your player. Uh, and then obviously your stream, whatever qualities you want to have. So source, your chats. So I'll have mine open up on Google Chrome lessons notifications you know I, i've unticked my enable desktop because i don't want mine popping up on my screen all the time um it'd be really annoying when the streaming cups not live and that's why i disabled that one as well um so now now that's all done obviously there's a save button uh underneath there so like i'll show you so you apply there so i'll just untick that apply hit apply and then you're pretty much ready to go so you hit your live streams and this will sync up with everything that you have on twitch so I've got all my all my streamers that I follow, and I want to go down to Rigbro, so I'll go all the way down to where Rigbro is. Um, he had a couple. So where is Rig sitting? There's Rig there. So if I hit Rig now, he'll load up. Here's his chat. Yeah, we're not. Nah, I don't be that guy. Go and check on these gems. And here's the stream. I'm watching Source right now without a drop. It's so spread out. Problem solve it? I think so. So, when you get... So, that, that's, pr that's pretty much how, how it goes. And uh, you, you can open up multiple, uh, multiple windows and you can, and you can do it in, you can, you can, you can put your chat, you can do your, your, your chat browsers in chatty or different, different chat apps, whatever you want to do. This is, uh, customizable to to however you want to do it is called stream link twitch gui the uh the installation is is at github.com stream link stream link twitch gui wiki installation uh it is it is fantastic from from what i have uh have done 
trust me, it is. It, I I spent I spent three hours today finding it, making it work, reading information, trying to trying to figure it all out, and it took me five minutes. As soon as I figured it all out, it took me five minutes to make it work. Um, and now, knowing how my internet is now, and, and, and like, I know my internet can handle speed, and I know it can handle streams. It's just Twitch will will limit you on browsers where this bypasses that and allows you to watch a, a 1080 stream or a you know a 4K stream. Someone wants to stream it at that high quality and wants to send it out at 6,000 bit rate. This stream link will allow you to watch it and you guys can certainly watch it so this is how you do it so hope this uh, benefits you and to you guys small time streamers out there who don't have that flexibility in um in in having those separate sources this is really good for your community to watch you on uh when they want to watch you this is a good source for them to watch you so uh for you guys out there who want to watch new people this is a good way to watch them as well so it's certainly something i'll be using in the future probably going to get away from um using the browser from now on just be using this app going forward that's it thanks guys thanks for watching cheers